Fight, 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 fight! That's more like it! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down another top 10 anime battles. So, at last, you're gonna fight me seriously. For this list, we've compiled some of the most brutal and action-packed fight scenes in the genre. We'll be restricting ranking battles from anime series and not movies. We'll also be counting down one battle per series. You ready to die like your pappy? Lastly, be sure to check out our first list of the top 10 anime battles. Please enjoy, but beware of spoilers. I can fight her too! Just go! This is our best course of action! Number 10. Simone vs. the Anti-Spiral. Gurren Lagann. You use your spiral power to satisfy your own desires and grow drunk on it! It's your fundamental limitation! What anime fan doesn't enjoy an old-fashioned riveting mech battle? The final battle between the leader of the Dai Gurren and the Spiral King not only tested the capabilities of both their Gurren Lagann, but also their unwavering determination. Don't underestimate us! We don't care about time or space or multi-dimensional whatevers! Despite the backup Simone had from various members of the team, he proved to be vastly overpowered. We say no, 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 not at all! After abandoning both their laggins to take the battle mano a mano, Simone impales the anti-spiral with his last screw attack, exploiting his only weakness. Lagan! Impact! Number 9. Afro vs. Jinosuke. Afro Samurai. Long time no see, Afro. <laughs> most people embrace their childhood friends with a friendly hello, or how you been? When it comes to the two most skilled swordsmen in the world, however, greetings work a bit differently. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think a teddy bear is supposed to be walking around the damn kimono strapped with blades. Refusing to initially draw his sword, Afro sets the pace of the battle by creating distance and evading Jinosuke's attacks. <laughs> By further antagonizing Afro and revealing his true face, Jinosuke lures Afro into committing to the fight. It isn't until Ninja Ninja sacrifices himself that Afro can focus his final blow through his opponent's life support. Number 8. Guts vs. Zod. Berserk. Zod, the immortal. He is well known and feared as a legendary fighter among mercenaries. When battling this almighty demon swordsman, expect things to go one of two ways. One, you die. Two, you die painfully. Zod. Immortal. <laughs> Upon entering his tomb and witnessing his entire squadron demolished, Guts furiously charges at the ten-foot apostle. Zod's overconfidence initially leads to Guts getting the upper hand. During the past 50 years, not a single warrior has been able to defend against my attack, except you. Unfortunately for Guts, however, Zod has a second form, which ends up being too much for Guts to handle by himself. <laughs> Number 7. Emiya Kiritsugu vs. Kotomin Kire. Fate Zero. It's usually a bad idea to bring a sword to a gunfight, but Six Swords does balance things out a bit. After a classic standoff, these two manifest their weapons through their mastery of mana and begin an intense fight. Kiritsugu's speed stops Kirei from getting the distance he needs for his ranged attacks. When Kirei gets the upper hand and thinks he's about to win, Kiritsugu's time-altering techniques turn the fight on its head. Utilizing the last of their strength, the two are immediately caught in a stalemate as the roof above them collapses. Number 6. Himura Kenshin vs. Shishio. Ruruni Kenshin. Being born of the same war-torn era molded these two into the greatest assassins their country had ever witnessed. I haven't enjoyed this, but I have to admit that I find your strength awesome, Shishio. Now opposed by their differing ideas for the future of Japan, the two ronin face off and defend their ideals with their swords. Kenshin now fights with a reverse blade sword, 
putting him at a disadvantage. He's parried it! His ultimate attack has been broken! Kenshin is as clever with his tactics as he is with his blade, and keeps the fight fast-paced and drawn out, causing Shishio to overheat. Number 5. Ichigo vs. Kichiki Bakuya Bleach Now, here is a fight that brought out the most in its characters. Placing himself in the middle of a family dispute, Ichigo faces off against Bakuya, the captain of the 6th division of the Imperial Guard. If you lose, I will never forgive you. In antagonizing Bakuya, Ichigo angers the Shinigami captain, who shows both Ichigo and the longtime Bleach fans what he is capable of. Watch carefully, Ichigo Kurasaki. Realizing he didn't stand a chance, Ichigo finally reveals his Bankai, an upgrade to his weapon, for the first time in real combat. You want to know who I am? <laughs> I have. No way. Number 4. Alucard vs. Father Anderson. Helsing Ultimate. I will find Alucard, and I will defeat him. Anderson, what do you think is gonna happen if you fight him? When trying to kill a powerful and immortal vampire, there are a few things to keep in mind. Being the best vampire hunter in the world is a good idea, and bringing the right hardware can't hurt either. Each brings a unique set of skills and equipment to the table, and after all we've been through in the Helsing series, this battle is unforgettable. For the first time, I can face a single vampire in combat. Dracula stands alone. Anderson, severely outclassed by the much more powerful vampire, puts up a valiant fight, while Alucard is enjoying the fight perhaps a little too much. Show me more, Alexander Anderson! <laughs> Number 3. Krollo vs. Silva and Zeno Zaldic. Hunter x Hunter. Two expert assassins versus one leader of a gang of thieves. Who do you think comes out on top? Krollo's masterful skill to steal others' abilities had both Zoldek assassins, Silva and Zeno, approach with caution. With Zeno in the forefront, he successfully pins Krollo to a wall with his Nen ability giving Silva ample time to strike him down with an explosive technique. However, when the assassins learn that their client was killed, the Zoldic family call off the fight and leave us all wondering who truly had the upper hand. Number 2. Vash versus Knives, Trigun. We will use these guns to dispose of mankind. I, I'm not gonna do that! Yes, you will! Holding a disdain for the human race is one thing, but enacting a plot to destroy them would lead these brothers to their final duel. <laughs> the reunion between Vash and Knives immediately results in what can only be described as a cowboy duel on steroids, with an intense bout of Russian roulette. The brothers are perfectly matched, and much of their actions mirror one another. Vash keeps a cool head, however, and his courage is what tips the balance in his favor, and when the dust settles, he comes out on top. Before we unveil our pick for the top anime battles, here are a few honorable mentions. Your sentimentality robs you of any true ambition! Oh yeah? You wanna talk ambition? Take a look around! Stay back. This could get ugly. Gazio, this one's mine. <laughs> oh yeah! 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 Number 1. Asuka versus mass-produced Avas. The end of Evangelion. <laughs> In a fight against nine mechanized cyborgs, ferocity ends up being as important as strength. Sure. Asuka has never been the easiest person to get along with, but her aptitude as an Ava pilot and her indomitable will to succeed carries her through a battle that should otherwise mean her slaughter. You were always protecting me! Always watching over me! Asuka puts up one hell of a fight as she mentally loses herself on the battlefield. Ah! 
Do you agree with our list? <laughs> Which anime battle was your favorite? If there's something you think we missed, be sure to check out our first list on this topic, the Top 10 Anime Battles, and for more Nintendo's Top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.